What's up everyone, Riley here and welcome back to Overkill Reviews. If you haven't already, make sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe and make sure to check out that dang Patreon. Uh, this is my first review of 2024 and I'm happy to be back. Um, I've been up to some other things as well. My own band just put out a crowbar cover. So if you want to check that out, those links are going to be down below. Otherwise, keep your eyes peeled because we've got an EP coming closer towards the end of this year. But today, I'm going to be talking about Chelsea Wolfe's latest release. She reaches out to, she reaches out to she, out February 9th, 2024 on Loma Vista Records. <laughs> unfamiliar okay Chelsea Wolfe is an American singer and songwriter and she's been putting things out I say things because it is things things have been coming out from her discography since about 2009 like doom rock and folk twang sort of gothic sounding dark wave in 2021 she even put out a split album with the hardcore band Converge and that ended up being this sort of hallucinatory heavy monster mash of noise, but she always seems to be able to grasp and suckle this very Chelsea-like feeling of gloom and whimsy. So which way is she leaning in this new album and how are we feeling about it? Fuck the folk. So for years, Chelsea Wolf has incorporated this folk sound to her undertone experimental doom music. And I think that was kind of what blasted her in to the successful career that she's had so far. It's always these aspects of acoustic guitars and gentle flows of neo-folk. I'm gonna describe it as hauntology twang. And I began to associate that sound with Chelsea Wolfe as I know many people probably have. But then in 2013, she put out Pain is Beauty and that sort of inco incorporated the sound of synth. And since then, she's had this ebb and flow and back and forth of add and withdrawal of folk and electronica and when she put out birth of violence in 2019 she kind of dropped the synth completely and went right back into that folk realm but here we are in 2024 and she has ricocheted right into this realm of trip hoppy dark wave electro goth doom and it doesn't have a single acoustic break so if that's what you were hoping for sorry about it and I had read that she had stated that this new album summons growth, change, and guidance. And with the amount that she's pushing this gas pedal into this sort of cathodic realm of things and away from the latter, we can obviously interpret that that statement is true. But I think that it's a win because she's gaining so much more dynamic and motion and explorable passages that you can investigate as a listener. And if I was gonna give you an example, I'd compare this to her 2015 album, Abyss, but if it had a baby with Melanie Martinez's 2015 album, Cry Baby. So I think that leads it into being never a dull moment. And as I briefly began to skim, she doesn't have any fear of diving headfirst into the unknown and how she wants to go with her music and how she wants to grow with her music and we've seen time again time and time again that she's a very experimental and flexible musician and to prove my point i'm going to talk about some things that stuck out to me on this album and first i'm going to start with the track dusk so it was a very romantic and meditative song it's really slow and sensual and kind of has a light glow to it which is very unlike Chelsea to begin with. But then at about three minutes in, it's just this enormous wave of sound and like distorted guitar break. And it creates so much more depth, 
to the friggin' song. And it's got this low end pulsation of drums and that contrast between this really light and soft and this really thick and heavy is so nice. Then we have songs like House of Self Undoing. This one has a really quick kind of sneaky momentum programmed drum track. It kind of reminded me of like a song in an early 2000s spy film where the guys like trying to dodge the lasers to get to the diamond sort of thing. And then it has this vocal break that encapsulates this really neo indie switch. And it kind of comes out of nowhere. And I like the surprise. songs like Eyes Like Nightshade. I think this is another really good example of that diversity that she's trying to execute on this album. It relies really heavy on this sporadic, industrial, chaotic synth beat that is sequenced and it has this incorporation of bells and there's an 8-bit mix somewhere in the background and of course all of these things are weighted down with this really thick, thick sound on top of it because it is Chelsea Wolf, let's not forget. And then she, of course, fingers it around with that whimsy infused sort of vocal. And ultimately this creation of curiosity with how much she is doing and how many new things that she's incorporating, I think it gives you that sense of unpredictability. And then you can never really go wrong or get bored. <laughs> But then with that being said, I find a little bit of disconnect. So with all of these pieces that I've been talking about, there's so much going on here and the gloom and the dark and the heavy and the doom and the trip hop and the electronic. And I think she has this desire to always incorporate this aspect of mysticism or she's chasing this sort of breath of weird. And I think at the end of the day, sometimes it leads it disjointed or almost chaotic or disorganized or even overwhelming. And she lays these bases down of noise. And then on top of that, we are squashed with all of these other aspects being placed on top of it. And then I begin to kind of lose what's happening in a track. And when she adds the vocals, usually they're, I believe, deliberately off kilter to the really low end sound. So then you have this contrast between this complimentary nice bit of whimsy and love and that dark end on the other side. But sometimes I feel that that thing that she's trying to do to have this contrast, it ends up just being pulverized anyway, or unfortunately drowned out because there's just so much going on. And then I found that I had to re-listen to tracks sometimes or re-listen to parts of tracks sometimes to kind of find my own bearings with everything that's going on. It's definitely her most electronic release to date. This is the most different thing I've ever seen her do. It's not instrumentally metal, but if you resonate with metal in a way that you like things that are loud, dark, and heavy, and that's the feeling that you sort of reach for, then you're gonna find something to probably resonate with here on this album or connect with. And I think the thing with Chelsea Wolfe is that she always 
is able to hold that essence and she kind of breaks away into her own sort of subsect of sound and that's always a win because then you're not lost in the sea of monotony and with that being said i think i'm going to give it a four out of five skulls today on overkill reviews but note if this was strictly a review based off of my own personal preference to things it'd be more like a three out of five skulls just because i don't resonate with this type of sound and melody and electronica but i'm taking a lot of nuance into account here and i can understand what she's going for Shout Shout out. Out. so first i have frog sword they are based out of the uk if you like mysticism and frogs and swords and fantasy and that type of metal then this is the album for you. They put out a song in January called Legend of the Sword. We haven't seen anything to follow up with that yet, but I'm hoping they release some more stuff soon. But I really liked it and I think it was a lot of fun. So I hope you give that one a listen. Then I have Kayani Finland's Alt Terror. They are a technical death metal band. They have an album coming out in March called Transcendent Origins, but I think they're really, really cool. So if you wanna keep your eyes peeled for that one, do it. And then our German death metal progressive banders, Chapel of Disease, have an album called Echoes of Light out February 9th, 2024 via Van Records. And I've liked everything that that band has ever put out. So anything that they put out going forward, I'm going to be right there rooting in the background. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today, guys. I hope you had a good one and I will see you next time. Yeah. So